As a California realtor, when you're selling a home, you're not just selling a home, you're selling a community. Even though I've been serving all Southern California, I have a listing here in Norwalk, my community for the past 31 years. I can't wait to show you the home and show you the neighborhood. Let's go. You love working in Norwalk or what? I love working in Norwalk. When and the house is down the street from the office. This one is so special because um, because it's right in my backyard. Yeah, and actually, so, so we're not done with this yet. Eddie's okay, going to come so back. Uh, he's going to paint this. He'll paint this top landing. Okay. And then I don't like the blue of the door, so he'll put like a shine on it, another lacquer. How much better are these floors than <laughs> we saw it at first? Much much better by the way this is the original floor in Norwalk and it's not done yet they're oh, gonna put okay. another two three more layers on it okay. uh, coats on it to make it shinier okay and this down here Eddie is gonna take off this baseboard cut okay. this off so there's no gap at the bottom is he putting a new one yeah, on it they'll then? put a new baseboard Bigger one yeah okay same okay. thing in these bedrooms you okay. see this gap yeah. at the bottom yeah yeah but the yeah. paint color turned out nice. Okay. The paint color turned out good. And I think once a couple more coats are on the floor, it'll really pop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. And they put, okay. well, you knew this already. I don't know if you remember all new windows, all right. new, all yeah. new they had windows. Done, yeah. They had done the windows yeah. and um, they redone the plumbing, right? They redone the plumbing. Okay. So they painted the cabinets. Okay. Painted the cabinets, new floors. Okay. I don't know if you remember, but this was a really ugly window with a crack in it. So they removed yeah. it and finished this. This looks much better looks that way. Better. Washer and dryer is brand new and it comes or yeah. a couple of years old, I believe. Yes. And it comes All the appliances, with it. Fairly okay. new. This is, I have to tell you this, um, Christopher, back in the days, back in the days, that was the ironing board. So that was. A, a lot of people switch it to spice rack and all of that, but this one is still has it. Well, I, okay, it's in. Thank God. And um, this is um, a family room. Yeah. Okay, so... We pulled the permits on this, and okay. when we pulled it, if you remember, it was permitted to be a patio. Correct, correct. So the crazy thing about this, when you are pulling a permit as a patio, okay, the requirement on it, the footage, the roofing, all of that is much less than the requirement as a family room. So with this one, it was permitted as a patio. Then later on, they closed it up so they can actually use it. Yeah. And, and more crazy, the tax assessor grabbed it as square footage so when you pull up the tax assessor it actually shows you 1400 square feet even though this is not so legit. you're paying taxes on the 1400 even though you cannot use the whole 1400 square footage i have a question actually so sure the living space area how many square feet is that the living space is a little over a thousand square feet okay and so when the, you're listing the house do you guys take that into consideration with what's the actual living space versus Co even though they're paying taxes on this, it's not technically part of the living space? Correct, because uh, patio, even though it's permitted, the square footage does not get added to the living space, even though you're paying taxes on it. And you can't mislead people into thinking something is permitted uh, when it's not. So when they come and they see it, we could tell them that they have uh, an unpermitted patio when they see it. They know that they get this great benefit, but we couldn't put it in the description and say, hey, the house is 1,500 square feet. So does that affect the price? Of course, it affects the price. So so there was a little thing, if I'm not making a mistake, and I'll look into that to, to, to make sure. I believe it's permitted as a patio. That's right. Uh, correct. So it's permitted as a patio, not as a family room. Correct. So that's the difference. So it does have permit, but yeah. it's a permitted as a patio. And if I'm not making a mistake, I'm not sure it's permitted as an enclosed patio. I think it's just an open patio. And then later on, they enclosed it, but it did not give um, the, the square permit. footage as a family room. I think it's a really good space. It's obviously very original. Um, 
but it's got great bones and I think this is the perfect spot for a family to step into. Honestly, it's in a beautiful community of Norwalk and a great location. Yeah. Bethany, uh, speaking of, can we actually go see the community? That yes, not? yes, I would love for us to go see what's in Norwalk to offer to everybody around. Well, let's go then. Let's, let's go. It. Does this place not look totally like a movie set? Universal <laughs> Studio. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and according to Wikipedia, they filmed part of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood back here. And Margot Robbie has a picture on her Instagram in this parking lot. Wow, I didn't even know any of this. Yeah. And we lived a couple of blocks away. That's right. <laughs> and the front is way prettier. And when you see it, like, you totally, it looks like they make movies back here. And this looks like a stage. This I know. The, I, I love the way it looked like Office 404. That is cute. That is cute. That's definitely Universal Studio. <laughs> and this is why Excelsior High School is my favorite spot in Norwalk. How beautiful is this architecture? It is beautiful. Yeah, so after they shut down the school in 1981, they've been filming movies here. I know they filmed Grease 2 here. Ooh. They filmed music videos. It's just beautiful. Well, I know since they shut it down, they're using it as adult school. And we're so close to LA. Oh, let me tell you, we're only 17 miles away from downtown LA. Hollywood, baby. Norwalk is so good, it's so good. I love that everything in Norwalk is so close to each other. And to have a beautiful memorial like this here at City Hall, this is amazing. Well, to really be honest with you, Norwalk is one of the city, everything is in it. From the courthouse, so you don't have to go to downtown LA, to the county record, you can just come here, two seconds, pick up what you need to pick up. You have the city hall, which is right there. We do have the sheriff's station is right here. And we have the Norwalk library. And one of the things is so close, is not quite walking distance, but maybe like a 10 minute walking distance. You just walk to the metro. So everything is about five minutes away. You park and you're right here. Everything is here. Isn't Mary where you do your nails just like down the street? Yes, she's my friend. She's just right down the street. Why don't we stop and go see her? Let's go check her Let's out. Let's go. One of the beautiful things about Norwalk is a hometown for a lot of the small businesses. And we're right here on the corner of Pioneer and Firestone. And I can't wait to show you this business right here. Let's check it out. Hey. Sorry, we're late. Hi. Hey, Mary. Hey, Kevin. Morning. How are you? Good morning. Good He's morning. Hi, Mary. Hey, Kevin. Good so, to see you guys. How long have you been Here doing my nails? Doing your nails? Well, I think about at least seven. At least seven, seven years, huh? And the amazing thing about you, though, and I just see you growing and growing and growing, and I, I am just so honored to know you. And. Um, and I just want to show your business because you are in my town and you're doing amazing. Thank you, Mary. So it's thank beautiful you. in here. Thank you. It, 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 she did. She just remodeled it so um, nice. like about a, a year ago, a couple of years ago. Yeah. So um, total on you. It looks awesome. Awesome. And your nails look awesome. <laughs> thank you. All right. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Bye, bye Kevin. So the listing is nearly there, like you saw it, and I know Eddie's gonna finish the floors, get that door nice and shiny. Okay. And I just love that they found us on social media. I love that the power of the internet is working. But more than anything, I love that this listing is highlighting our community of Norwalk. Well, to really be honest, you have not seen Norwalk 30 years ago. You weren't even on the map 30 years ago. Um, how far Norwalk came along. That memorial we saw at the City Hall parking lot, you know, that was not there. Mary Schaub. That Mary Schaub, you know, she started seven years ago. And um, with her though, it brings such a beautiful memory because I remember when we started seven years ago, she, you know, she brought the shop with a partner and things were not flourishing how it was here. So busy. And, um, and it was just the fact is I can think back and how we put our head together to figure out how we're gonna market it, how we're gonna make this business just flourish. And seeing it today, it just brings so much, just beautiful memory, just so much um, joy 
to to have that. So um, so it's really beautiful to just highlight Norwalk and just having a listing and share with everybody how beautiful this community is and how much it came a long way from 30 years ago when I saw it. So the newest episode of our show, A State of Grace, is live. Watch it now. <laughs> On YouTube. What kind of talent is this? Is that what I'm saying? Watch it.